What's up, Space Lords? Welcome to a new chapter of Inside Space Lords, where we'll have a little sneak peek into some of the changes our development team is considering implementing in the future. Bear in mind that what you're about to see are prototypes that still need to be developed, and it's very possible that they change quite a bit by the time they're available in Space Lords. So, what you are going to see now is not a final version. Ready? Let's go! Space Lords is going to introduce many playable changes, but will also revamp its front-end look. Here you can see some concept tests for the main menu of the game. As you may have noticed, the Raider's hideout is gone, and replaced by a menu with all the character's characteristics. Tutorials, news and passive skills will also be displayed in a different place, and will be shown over the iconic Broken Planet. But remember, all these changes are not final yet, and could be changed in the future. But I'm sure there are many on-screen icons you still haven't seen before, right? The Career Mode is a new progression system that will reward the players depending on their performance during the game. How does it work? When this new feature is live, players will receive a score based on their individual progress after each mission, as Raider and as Antagonist. The best scores for each mission will keep adding up until the month ends. Once they reach a certain score, players will secure a special extra reward that they will receive at the end of the month. Do you like the idea? Hang on, there's more! As you already know, one of the next milestones in the Space Lords roadmap is Space Lords Identity, including a cosmetic store where you can purchase new items, skins for our favourite characters, weapons, emotes, character packs and much, much more. This is just a little taste of everything the Mercury Steam team is planning for Space Lords. Stay tuned, because some of the new features will hit you like a hammer.